How are you going? Maybe I'm a bad omen for you. I was literally at home editing the video of the one on your front door. I I think it's the same. Don't let the dogs. It'll be. Yeah. Oh, come on, puppy. Here we go. Come on. Inside. The other one had red eyes. Okay. Dubs are falling down a bit. So we're. Oh, right there. Oh, so yeah, it's a carpet python. Oh, carpet. Coastal carpet python. I was hoping it might have been that green tree snake that you had up in your cavity because, yeah, how's that? I was just at home editing the video of the one on your front door right now. <laughs> how's that? But look at the stripe on it. Beautiful looking one. There's a bit smaller than, like than that last be... one. Oh, so it, um, it is a little bit skinny, but it's not too bad. Um, they do, they are pretty slender compared to like what you see people's pets. A lot of people's pets are a bit overfed because it is a tree climbing snake after all. So they're pretty, they're quite robust and heavy body, but they are quite slender for their length. I was cleaning the garden what because mean? I disturbed it. Oh, it's just that time of night for it to be out and about. Don't need that hook, which is good. <laughs> so no, because we're being pretty gentle, see how it's like stretching out long. Yeah. It's actually being quite curious of us but if we raced in there and spooked it too much it's going to get quite cranky but if i just gently approach it it might swing around and get a little bit cranky at first but then once i bring it over it is a little bit skinny yeah. probably could do with it with fit. something to eat i think i stepped in dog poo sorry about that i'll go out the gate oh, um, but yeah not not trying to bite us or anything just being nice and Nice and gentle. That's oh. beautiful. I'm going to get a shot of this pattern. So, come here. Let's have a look. Which way are we getting to us? Nice. Beautiful head pattern. It's got the ghost. See the ghost on the back of its head? That's what I call it anyway. It looks like a bit of a ghost shape. Oh, wow. But then it's got these nice stripes down the side of it and its tail. Really nice colours. It's freshly shed by the looks of it. Um... It's only young, isn't it? It's, oh, I definitely think I've got dog poo on me. It's um, oh, sorry, it's definitely a few years, oh, it's all right. We've got three dogs, I know how it is. It's definitely a few years old, but it's still late juvenile, early sub-adult sort of stage. But um, just stunning looking. No matter, even though I see so many of this exact same species, it's just amazing to see the variation because each one's completely different, so their pattern, you have definitely gone through poos, Snakey. Yeah, their pattern is completely unique, just like our fingerprints. So you can actually identify each individual snake by its pattern. Do you want to go in there for us? Do you want to make it easy? <laughs> hey, yeah, look at the caves you can explore. Is the food in there? He's going, I'm not falling for that. <laughs> in there you go, here, in here. Nah. No. You're going, no, that's no food in there. Oh gosh, I've been covered in a lot of poo this week. <laughs> Just one thing with working with animals. But, uh, hey, <laughs> and there you go. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Oh, well, that's interesting. Been a few pythons in the estate this week.